When it comes to video games, Seattle is the place to play. No other region in the country, including Silicon Valley, has a higher concentration of interactive media companies. In fact, the industry here employs more than 17,000 people. King 5's Joe Fryer and photojournalist Scott Jensen take us inside the efforts to launch the next generation of video game superstars. Remember when the world seemed as simple <laughs> as the video games we used to play? Yeah, that was so easy. At the Seattle Interactive Media Museum, yeah. squeals of joy are still generated by old school controllers it's called a joystick and stick figure graphics. Yeah. <laughs> Here, look at that! You have to push a button. Holly Butler's daughter can take her first spin this is awesome. with the Atari. I find it charming that I can show them something like this and they can be just as enraptured as I was when I was 10 years old. I can fly. Well, technology might change. Watch out for the guy. Those reactions <laughs> are timeless. <laughs> and they're what motivate the next generation of game makers. <laughs> really, this, this is second to nobody. Welcome to the DigiPen Institute of Technology. This is the Harvard of game development by a long shot. For student Kevin Sheehan, nonsense. The gaming world offered a much needed lifeline. That's right. From his real world pitfalls. <laughs> Growing up, Kevin would escape into the role playing game World of Warcraft. And as strange as it may sound, it changed him. I had been learning lessons through World of Warcraft about, you know, social politics, about leadership, hard work, goal setting, etc. And that was carrying over into my real life. Now he wants to make games that can help others. Oh my god. And for the past nine months, Kevin and a team of classmates oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. have been working to do just that. This game is called Wreckage. R-E-K-K-A-G-E. -E. There it is. Force is the hard counter to armor. Congratulations. In this very social game, players customize their ships with weapons and tools. Boosters help you move and jolt forward. And whatever else pops into their heads. Knockback is another component that will shoot a projectile that doesn't do damage, but it applies a force to the object. Wait, it goes through walls. Oh, God. <laughs> it took 30 prototypes to even get to this point. We have some of the art up here from where we went along the way. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. And they've got a lot more work to do. Yeah. Much better graphics. I need to make the records faster. And constant tweaking. What else was I just making a note about? Kevin's critical eye. Oh. Physics rotation. Examines every detail right down to the missiles. They're non-existent. Like, yeah. you can just continuously dodge them like, like Andrew was. So I think they should be stronger. Despite how this might look. Oh. Hard counter. It's not all fun in game. It's incredibly orange. <laughs> Who else is orange? I'm orange. Oh, and oh, no. oh, heal. Who put heal on their ship? Every idea, every movement is buried somewhere in a hundred thousand lines right. of code. Shots heal. Oh, that's right, because now shots heal is just player. And it's just the beginning of what it takes. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful debugging. To make oh, it big. Look at this. It's beautiful. <laughs> I, your last name? A couple weeks ago, industry leaders gathered in Bellevue to hear from up-and-coming game developers. Instead of just going and finding a job somewhere, let's uh, start a company. That includes the guys from Refract Studios. We're still working on a lot of things, but it's early in development. So thank you. DigiPen grads who asked students created Nitronic Rush, a racing game that got 600,000 downloads. Uh, cool. Awesome game. Yeah, awesome. Game Thank awesome. you. Yeah. Great job. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much. Today, they're working on a sequel. In terms of making right. everything, right. it's all completely from scratch. Exactly. Like most of the teams here, they're getting help through the Washington Interactive Network's high tech incubator. How old are you? I'm 22. A tool funded with federal grant money wow, wow, wow. to help game makers get to the next level. It's great work, it's very engaging, it's interesting stuff, but uh, it's, it's work. <laughs> Back at DigiPen. Spaceships fighting each other. The success building. of Nitronic Rush serves as inspiration for Kevin and his team. This is the type of thing that can change the course of your life. <laughs> as they push through their pitfalls, <laughs> knowing better than anyone, <laughs> the power of a great game. <laughs> Joe Fryer, King 5 News. This is a world super over.
A special exhibit on the art of video games just opened at the EMP Museum. We have more information at king5.com.